Welcome back to Mojo Grip Mike here. Today we're checking out some amazing single engine jets that unfortunately nobody can own. These aircraft were first designed to be production airplanes and just to appreciate the design and effort that went into creating these jets, we're gonna pay them some attention today. The first aircraft on the list is the Epic Victory. This single engine jet was supposed to completely disrupt the market, especially for pilot owners. Outside of military birds, hearing of a passenger jet with only one engine was almost unheard of, so the Epic Victory wanted to change this. And so they built a prototype that was supposed to carry three to four passengers and can be operated by only one pilot. Now given that a single engine puts this aircraft in the very light jet category, and what that means is you only need one person to pilot it. The Epic Victory was beautiful to look at. The production model was to be powered by a Pratt & Whitney PW600 engine, which would push this jet at almost 300 miles per hour in cruise. You had a range of over 1200 miles and you could fly it up all the way to 28,000 feet. The best part about the Victory jet was the price. This aircraft was forecasted to only cost a million dollars. A million dollars. For those who are not so familiar with jets and business aviation, a million dollars is a drop in a bucket for a brand new jet. You'd be dropping at least $2.5 million to get your hands on one. Unfortunately, the Epic Victory didn't make the cut and the company decided to pivot and instead they built an amazing turboprop airplane in the Epic E1000 with more capabilities, better performance, and more cabin room, but at three times the purchase price. Next we have the Piper Jet, PA-47. Piper is one of the most no-name brands in general aviation, and once upon a time they had plans to build a single engine jet. The Piper Jet was supposed to compete with the Eclipse 500 and the Citation Mustang from Cessna. It was a single engine jet that would outperform everything else in its class. Expected cruise speed over 400 miles per hour, you had a range of 1500 miles, and this jet was supposed to fly all the way up to 35,000 feet. These performance numbers were mind blowing, and perhaps one of the reasons why this jet never made it to production. The FAA had a hard time certifying a single engine jet that would fly that high. The Piper jet could be piloted by one or two pilots, you had enough room to carry six to seven passengers, and if this jet had made it to production, it would cost close to three million dollars. Next we have the Diamond D jet. Diamond Star is also one of the well-known name brands in civil aviation. I actually trained in the Diamond DA-40. Diamond Aircraft also wanted to get in the single engine jet market in the early 2000s. And so they built a prototype called the D-Jet. The Diamond D-Jet will be powered by a single Williams FG33 turbofan engine. The aircraft was set to cruise at over 250 miles per hour. You had a max cruise of over 350 miles per hour and a ceiling of 24,900 feet. The cabin of the D-Jet was designed for four passengers and a single pilot. The first flight of the prototype was back in April of 2006. And as Diamond Aircraft continued into their process of certification, unfortunately five years later they had to drop the program because of the lack of funds. If this jet had made it to production, it would cost around two million dollars. Next on the list is the Stratos jet, the Stratos 714 or 716X based on their latest prototype. The Stratos jet have had a very complicated history and there may still be hope. As a matter of fact, this is one of the only few jets on this list that may still be purchased in the future. The 714 being the first prototype was designed to carry three to five passengers and can be piloted by only one person. The Stratos jet can cruise up to 462 miles per hour. We actually saw the latest prototype of the Stratos jet in Oshkosh 2018. With a long process of certification, it's costing more money to get this jet to production. And the latest move by the company was to build a prototype, the 716X, as an experimental model. This way they can get more buyers in and raise some more money to be able to get the production model done. 
The 716X will share the same design and capabilities as the original prototype. The Stratus Jet is said to have a max cruise speed of 462 miles per hour. And with full tanks, you can fly this jet up to 1300 miles. Also, the Stratus Jet has one of the highest flight ceilings from all the other light jets in the market at 41,000 feet. The production model is set to have a Pratt & Whitney turbofan engine. And if luck would have it, we may still see this jet fly in the skies one day. The forecasted price for a Stratus Jet, $3.5 million. And the last jet we have on the list today is the Flaris LAR. Here's another jet we've actually featured here on the channel before. And the Flaris jet is the only aircraft in this list that's not produced here in the United States. The Flaris is a Polish design that was introduced not too long ago. And it too will have a single turbofan engine. The Flaris jet was designed to be light and very fast. The cabin space would take up to four passengers and one pilot. And you can expect the production model for this jet to have a Williams FJ33 or a Pratt & Whitney turbofan engine. This is where the Flaris jet shines, its performance. Cruise speed is set to 430 miles per hour and you'd have a range of up to 2,000 miles. But unlike every other jet you've seen so far, the Flaris jet also boasts the highest flight ceiling at 46,000 feet. Now, this is also a jet that you may be able to purchase sometime in the future, but certainly not now. The Flaris jet have had a few modifications from its original prototype, and it actually took its very first flight in April of 2019. Currently, the Polish company is going through certification, and they do expect this jet to be a production aircraft one day. The price tag, $2 million. And that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please go ahead and give a thumbs up. And if this is your first time, be sure to subscribe to Mojo Grip. Thank you so much for watching. Also, make sure you sign up for the mailing list at mojogrip.net. Again, my name is Mike, and I will catch you on the next video. Thank you.